Just a heads up, the WIP update for this week will be delayed by a few days, but it's for a good reason, just trust me on this one. So last Thursday, all was going well. I had finally produced a showcase that I should have done previously and it got it uploaded. But about a half an hour after I uploaded it, I realized there was something in the showcase I was intending to do that I didn't do. And that was to show you guys how the salt spreader mechanism works in enough detail for it to be replicated. So let's get started. As I said in the showcase, the spreader mechanism uses worm gears. And if I remove the top grating, you can see the basic mechanism. If you wish to reproduce this, do know the placement of the sideways tile and round plate. This arrangement has gotten me the best spread and anti-clog results thus far and works fairly well. There, as always, may be room for improvement, so keep that in mind if you have any ideas that may be different. The other important thing to note is to keep the gap slash size of the rear chute as large as reasonably possible, as if you don't, the spreader will clog very often. This width that I used here still clogs, but pulling back on the chute slightly most of the time will discharge the clog. If anyone is interested, this is what the basic gear train looks like. Here's a spread up salt discharge using the spreader. I have found that if you want the least clogs and best results, don't fill the hopper above half or two thirds full. Higher will work, but may need a little shaking to get the pieces to contact the worm gears. That's it, not much to it. As always, don't forget to like if you do, comment any thoughts below, and subscribe if you want to see more. Happy building, and bye for now.